What's up guys? So I'm in Assassin's Creed Syndicate and it's came out. Okay, first off, first time in a while that non-Nintendo games, Nintendo games usually come out on Friday. Other games come out on Tuesday. This is like one of the first times in a long time that a like mainstream title came out on a Friday. So anyway, I've been playing this game uh, since last night because I had it pre-ordered on Xbox Live so I got like two hours earlier or something like that. Um... Yeah, it's a good overall impressions. It's pretty good. Not great. Pretty good. I'm playing as Evie right now because she's better at stealth and she also has a better costume. But, yeah. I mean, okay. It's like a polished version of Unity, which, I mean, Unity was terrible. Like, we all know how I felt about Unity. Um, one thing they did right, the lockpicks aren't a a resource that you need so you just pick locks now uh they did the skills about the same way a little bit better couple of better ones i mean the skill system in unity was great customization is a little bit more easy to uh get a hang of um switching between jacob and evie totally totally fine so i'm gonna play one of the missions i haven't got very far i've been collectibles doing the collectibles in this area that's another thing that they did really good so far, so good. Collectibles aren't overwhelming. That's what I found with Unity and even Black Flag was... Unity, they, there were so many collectibles. I was just mad at doing collectibles. Um, another thing they did good is... Parkour is about the same as one of the Unity, which is great. I haven't tried to get into a window yet. Sweet lord, if I get into a window. The thing that is kind of weird is the sneak mode. It's like, okay, I'm going to push A and I'm going to sneak. Go on the cover, blah, blah, blah. The cover system's pretty good. Uh, thing that I am totally a fan of, throwing knives. Finally have throwing knives back, and it's since, I think, Revelations. Aside from, like, the ones that you can pick up from dead guards and stuff like that, but that was only one. It wasn't really a throwing knife. It was, like, a giant dagger that you chucked. So, okay, let's go, let's go on with making playing the mission. Um, yeah, it, I mean, if you're a hardcore Assassin's Creed player, like, I've played every Assassin's Creed since dawn of time, and I'm a fan of it, and Unity didn't tarnish my view of Assassin's Creed, you know what I mean? Assassin's Creed, Unity was just a terrible game. Alright, cutscene. <laughs> Jacob and Evie, super good protagonist. I'm I'm actually quite a fan of him. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but I mean the sibling rivalry that they have going back and forth. Totally funny. And it's really good. Uh the weapon customization, I mean it's you either choose between that knife that we just got, a cane dagger, or a uh or like brass knuckles so it's not like see <laughs> as it speak of it so stun lethality blah 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 i think i'm gonna go with the dagger can i use this yet no i'm not level three cool i'm gonna upgrade it too uh microtransactions are in it but you don't need to use it i'm still confused at whether because there's a um I'm just going to pause it for a second. There's, like, the Helix fragments or whatever. The, it, it's the Abstergo fragments that, you, that have been in the game since forever. But they don't show up on the map unless you're near them. And then they stay on the map. But there's no maps for buying those. But there's maps for buying everything else. So I'm wondering if that will be later on that I get all the... I can show them up on the map. But there is a microtransaction to show them. Which doesn't make sense to me. That being said, they do give you points to buy it eventually. It's a thousand helix fragments or what helix points or whatever their microtransaction money is. You can buy though that I've also I've already got four hundred just from playing the game. So I'm I'm wondering if you can get more from just playing the game. 
I'm just going to save it up until I go a thousand to buy them all. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this and then we can finish up. This is, I think this is a gang fight. Huh. Gang fight. was quick uh combat is way better than it was in unity it's not as good as i would like it to be but it's it's a step in the right direction it feels like more like a fist fight than it does a uh sir oh 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 no what what the heck okay i'm just gonna this is another feature that they added that I am totally a fan of. Is dodging bullets. Boosh. It's a lot of clicking. I mean, I'm just hitting. When it glows, you push B. When it, when they block, you push A. It's pretty self expand It's pretty easy, to be honest. You could, but you definitely can't take out like groups of enemies. Oh, he's the boss. That was awesome. He's definitely dead. <laughs> oh, sweet. I mean, I kicked him off and he got run over by his own train. Alright, well, that's Assassin's Creed Syndicate in a nutshell. This is all I've played, so I haven't got a good good uh, feel for it yet. But I figured, hey, it just came out today, so I figured I might as well put out a video for it. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Will you get it? Uh, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and in the next video, I'll probably have played it more. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.